For me, it was almost like winter didn't count. Summer was what mattered. My whole life was measured in summers. Like, I don't really begin living until June, until I'm at that beach, in that house. Smeagol was holding a debate with some other thought that used the same voice, but made it squeak and hiss. A pale light and a green light alternated in his eyes as he spoke. Smeagol promised, said the first thought. Yes, yes, my precious. His mouth captured hers, trying to show her with his kiss what he was still learning to express in words. He loved her. He worshipped her. He'd walk across fire for her. He still had the audience of her three brothers. Slowly breaking the kiss, he turned his face to the side. Antony, Benedict and Colin were still standing in the foyer. Antony was studying the ceiling. Benedict was pretending to inspect his fingernails. And Colin was staring quite shamelessly. Jamie hugged me closer and pulled the quilts up over my bare shoulders. He'd have thought I'd got some sense at last. He stroked my hair. He'd have respected my choice, whoever it was. But you... He turned his head and kissed my brow gently. He would have liked you very much, my Sassanach. First of all, let me get something straight. This is a journal, not a diary. I know what it says on the cover, but when Mom went out to buy this thing, I specifically told her to get one that didn't say diary on it. Great. All I need is for some jerk to catch me carrying this book around and get the wrong idea. 